Hello and welcome back to another Factorio tutorial. My name's Negative Root and let's get cracking today. We're talking about cracking. <laughs> yeah, the jokes don't get any better, ladies and gentlemen. That's that's about the pinnacle of my uh, humour. So let's do it. Uh, in the game, we have oil. It's very important. It creates plastics, which is a part of red circuits. Red circuits go into blue science, which is, um, of course, very important because that's a later game thing. Now, I'm going to be talking about a blue science thing, and that is dun -dun 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 -dun, advanced oil processing, which introduce uh, a few different things, and I'm going to be talking about cracking with kind of this in mind. Now, cracking is the taking of a big molecule and turning it into a smaller one. Uh, basically, you crack the molecule. When, in real life too, um, when you get crude oil, it's a very, very long chain molecule. It is a long carbon chain. What cracking does is it chops it up into shorter ones. So you have a extremely short chain for things like, uh, what would it be? Um, you know, like those really, really light gases. Um, then you, you move into things like your uh, petroleums are in the middle. And then kind of your... your um, oils and your heavier things like I think paraffin is one of them uh, that come out the bottom and basically a refinery so one of these separates it out so this um, well it's at the top this would come out the top this will come out the middle this would come out the bottom and it's actually a very very interesting process um, to, to get kind of three products out of the one process very very cool so in the game we have it as well. Advanced processing is very good because you get a ratio of 1 to 4.5 to 5.5, which is very, very useful. It's more useful than the old school um, just basic oil processing where you get a useless ratio of 3 to 3 to 4. Uh, that's kind of sucky. While we're here talking about it though, let's do some math because math is fun. Yeah, there's my calculator. So, in the basic oil processing, we get a total of 3 plus 3 plus 4, which is 10. I can do that in my head. Uh, for this one, we get 1 plus 4.5 plus 5.5, 5.5, which means 11. So, we get a free one when we use advanced oil processing. So, that's the good news. Now, to set it up, obviously, you need water and you need crude. However, you get crude in is up to you. I barrel it up normally and use logistic bots because reasons. Uh, after that, we obviously have our three constituent products, our petroleum gas, our light oil, and our heavy oil. Now, what I tend to do is I tend to crack everything down to petroleum gas and just use that. Uh, you, you can kind of screw around with things a little bit, but uh, that's just generally the way I do it. So you'll notice that I have a whole bunch of things, so a whole bunch of these chemical plants cracking down the heavy oil into light oil. And this is because light oil can then be cracked, in turn, into petroleum gas. And petroleum gas can then be used for a multitude of useful products like plastics and more plastics and more plastics again. Um, but seriously, uh, sulfur as well is the, probably the other major one that petroleum gas is used for. So there and there, two big things. Uh, petroleum gas, uh, sorry, sulfur is used for sulfuric acid, which is used for batteries, which is used for laser turrets and um, little, uh, oh, I've had a complete blank, blank here, robot flight frames and also your blue sites. So that is what they are used for. So keep that in mind, very useful. And by cracking it all down, we can ensure that we have the maximum amount of petroleum gas available. If we were to try and use these things, so for example, use that and use the heavy oil, we'd, we're going to end up with a lopsided situation. By cracking it all down into petroleum gas, we just end up with one product that we can deal with, and it's much, much easier. So, in your next game, try and come up with this kind of build where you take the heavy oil, you turn it into light oil, and then the light oil, you take that and turn it into petroleum gas. Now, something important to remember about the liquid system is that anything connected to the line is connected to everything else. So, for example, this light oil here and this light oil here, doesn't matter where it is, it will be used by anything that's connected to it. So, here. 
So I put this up here as a bit of a storage thing. Uh, normally with belts, you know, you need to put the storage in between the producer and the pro and the consumer to actually put it in buffer storage. However, this you just need to connect to the line somewhere. It doesn't actually matter where. So keep that in mind. This has been uh, another Factorio tutorial, so thank you very much for joining me. I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Not sure what I'm doing next. If you'd like me to cover a topic, uh, be sure to tell me. I'd love to uh, talk about something that you'd like to hear me talk about instead of me rattling on all day. Until next time, thanks for watching.